I do not envy you. Sleepless nights, dirty nappies, <laughs> and your social life. <laughs> Girl, you might as well just kiss goodbye to all those parties you love to go to. What time is it? Um, quarter to five. Shit. I've got to go. your doctor, I would have to seriously recommend that you stop lifting heavy objects. Robert! Oh! oh. I'm so glad you could make it. I've got one goddaughter. Do you really think I'm going to miss a big day? Come on, let's get you a drink. Um, now, whiskey and water? You know me too well. Oh, you've done wonderfully. Thank you. Your father would have been so proud. I hope so. You know, I can still see his face the day you were born. He ran up that street, singing, dancing, stopping total strangers just to tell them how lucky he was. His little miracle, that's what he called you. And now, the beautiful baby I delivered is about to give birth herself. Where's all the time go, eh? Well, in my father's case, a golf course. Guilty as charged. I got him into the game, and your mother never let me forget it. Quite enough of that. Oh. Let's see if I can't teach these young people a thing or two about fashion. Yes. You do that. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, I will do. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Great party. I'm going to get taxi back. OK, that's a good idea, Tim. And uh, Annie's just going to stay in there, and, you know, she's, she's going to stay. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you. Tim. Thanks. Congratulations, Rachel. You have a son. Baby is all right. He's fine. They just want you to get some rest. So have we thought of a name yet? Charlie. 
Harley Stewart. I like that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I can't look after him. Rachel, you will be fine. But what if I do something stupid? What if I do something wrong and then there's no one there to tell me? Well, then you'll call me. But if you're not there... You'll deal with it. You're his mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm his mum. Dr. Hurd. Rachel. I don't like to be visiting, isn't it? Yeah. I'd like to see my baby. Of course he would. Here we go. He's absolutely perfect. Oh. Hello, Charlie. Just fine, Charlie Stewart. Now, you need to go back to your room and get some rest. What's wrong? Rachel, um, I'm afraid I have some bad news. There isn't any easy way of saying this, so I'm just gonna have to say it. I'm so sorry. Your baby died in the night. What are you talking about? There was nothing anyone could do. Not possible. I saw him. I'm really very sorry. Oh, no, well, it can't be him. He was fine. Oh, you, you were there. You you saw him. He was fine. Rachel. Rachel, I am so sorry. This is not 
not happening. We did everything we could. You said he was perfect. I know, I'm you, sorry. You told me he was perfect. I know, I'm sorry, but he is. He's dead. I spoke to the administrator of the hospital. For old time's sake, he let me have a look at the preliminary report. Rachel, your baby had an apneic attack. He just stopped breathing. I wish I could tell you why these things happen, but the truth is we, well, we just don't know. I was holding him and he was perfect. That's what Dr. Heard told me. He said he was absolutely perfect. I'm sorry. I double checked the report. They did everything they could. Now, I think you should talk to someone. No. Well, there's a woman I know. No. She's very good. No. <laughs> Try to get some rest.
which one is yours? None of them. Stuck on the patients. No, can he help me? Thanks anyway. Have you seen Pat anywhere? Ah! You're a fine man, Daniel Stone. Hospital ever catch me doing this, they'll have me shot. Yeah, well, there'll be a great place in heaven waiting for you. <laughs> you want to come and have a drink? I know I'd better run. Of course. I understand. Now, you take care of yourself, Pat. Ain't no one else gonna. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Rachel Stewart. Okay. Out the car. Doing? Nothing. Nothing? It's just, just some hobby of yours, is it? Of course not. Wait, wait a minute, I know you. 
You're a patient at the hospital. That's right. I'll take you back to the hospital. No, you can't. Why? Because there's a man, and he's following me. That's why I got into your car. OK. Well, I'll take you home. No, he was there, too. Well, if you want to stay out here, be my guest, but I've got a home to go to. Wait. You can't leave me here. Look. I live just over there. If you want to come back and talk, that's fine. Or you can stay out here. Frankie's harmless. I'm in my second year of medicine. Uh, do you want tea or coffee? Coffee, please. Take a seat. Gonna be calling her all evening. There's no answer. She's probably sleeping. You think? Unless your ringing's woken her up. <laughs> mm. I think I should go over. Mm. Just to make sure. So the guy you saw at the house is the same guy that you saw at the hospital? Yeah, I think so. That's why I've got to go to the police. And tell them what you just told me. Yeah. Anyone else see this? I know how this sounds. It's late. Maybe you should go home. I didn't mean that. Come on, come back. Hey, hey, come on, come back inside. Come on, hey, come on, where are you going? They have stolen my baby and now they are following me. So where the fuck do you think I'm going? Come back inside, stay the night, and we'll talk it over in the morning. I want to go to the police. Just wait till the morning. If we can't come up with anything, I'll drive you to the station myself.
Sure. Do you hear me? You forget everything I'm Stuart, I live at 67A. Okay. You live here, sir? I am Norm. Well, no, unless you actually live here, so I have to ask you to wait this side of the line. Thank you. Rob, this is Rachel Stewart. She lives in 67A. Hi. DC Mosley. What happened? We're still trying to work that out. Did you know Anne Cox? Come on, let's get you inside. Come on. Rachel, this is Sergeant Batts. When was the last time you saw Anne Cox? What did you do? Last time, Rachel. Could I have some water? I'll get you a glass. Under arrest, was she? Rachel, what happened? What happened? God, he must have thought it was me. What are you talking about? He thought I'd go home. He, there's no way that he could have known that she'd okay, go there. Okay, well, Rachel, enough. Who did they bring out of there? Annie. Detective Sergeant Betts killed Annie. This is fucked. What are you doing? You never said a word to me about the police. I cannot get involved with the police. He just killed my best friend. You don't know that, Rachel. We don't know anything. I know. I know. Way! <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you get a wet bum? No. <laughs> now listen, yeah. mind that ladder, because it's slippy and wet. Yeah. Okay. Alice, keep them in the playground. Don't let them go away.
Do I get the pleasure of a phone call every time there's a development? Development? Is that what you call it? It was an accident. Dennis, a woman's dead. What are we going to do? We're not going to do anything, Richard. We're trying to scare her off. Right now, I'd say she's pretty fucking scared. Wouldn't you? I don't believe this. I don't care what you believe. It's not your baby we're trying to protect. It's not yours either. Don't! Just don't! We'll get another baby. What are you going to do? Shake a tree and hope one falls out? Oh, I should have thought about this more. I shouldn't have just panicked. You had a problem, you dealt with it. End of story. Well, it's not the end of the story, is it? It wasn't meant to be like this. Not like this. Well, what with it? I have to. Drink that. The other baby's name was Drea. If I can't go to the police, I'll just have to find the mother. Oh, she could be anywhere. I just need an address. You could get it. What? The hospital. They must have admission charts and stuff. But I don't have access to them. Well, the room has to be clean, doesn't it? Yes, I am the cleaner. I'm not a detective. Please. You're all I've got. <sighs> OK. I'll do it. Thank you. Don't get used to this. My offering help is not a character trait. Well, it's not my experience. Chase up mental records. Secretary told me one of your legs had gone. I was just changing the bulb. You seem to be working now. Okay, I'll go. Home. Getting out of the castle. 
problem? No problem? Oh! Dennis! Not now. Rachel Stewart. Uh, who? Where is she? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't lie to me. Bets. Where is she? What are you oh, doing? Just keep the fuck out of this. Where'd he go? Who? Oh. What happened to you? Rachel, we're gonna have to get out of here. Tell Andre her address. So at least we know what she looks like. Come on. You take the stairs. You kidding me? 19th floor, 1908. Coast clear. Did he look like he was interested in justice? Please! They have taken my baby! I have to find him! Don't move! You're making a mistake! You're making a big fucking mistake! Oh. Oh. I think he's broke my nose. Fuck. You okay? No, I'm just standing here, you know, wondering why the fuck I'm standing here. I don't understand. You know, Rachel, I don't mean to sound insensitive or anything, you know, but isn't there supposed to be a father somewhere that's doing this kind of thing? Oh, <clears throat> he's not around anymore. Uh, I got pregnant. It was a mistake. And uh, we'd been going out three years, and I thought, what the hell? Why not? But that didn't count much for him. And he gave me a choice, either him or the baby. Nice guy. Yeah. And the rest, as they say, is history. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. When I found out I was pregnant, I didn't have any doubts. Well, maybe a few. But then when I saw him, and when I held him, Excuse my language, but it's four in the fucking morning. Thanks for coming, Jimmy. You look like shit. What's up with you, Dan? You're all over the news. What are you talking about? 
they saying you ran away from a murder scene? No, that's not how it went down. I never thought it was. Rachel Stewart, Jimmy Tubbs. Rachel, it's a pleasure. Now, do you mind if we get the fuck out of here? Boys and girls, I'm sweet home. Come on. Sorry about the mess. I just saw I had some blankets. What you need? That's the only set for us to go home right now. Sweet. You were homeless. You didn't tell her? Well, I guess it's not something you brag about, is it? Two years in lockup, two on parole, and two on the street. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get me a down. Good to see you, Dan. You too. I'm sorry I got you involved. Ah, me too. You, you okay with the sofa? Yeah, of course. A list of everyone known to have associated with Daniel Stone. He's got to be hiding somewhere. You did that on your own? Not bad. Why don't you check them out? Already started. Okay. You can't cross up! You can't cross up! Jimmy. Hey, you up already? Yeah, got a couple of people we need to see. Probably need some wheels. You sure? Yeah, it's only a car. Thanks. You scratch it, I'll fucking kill you. I'll put some petrol in. Good boy. I've locked myself out again. Come in. She's gone. Joanne, she's gone. Some guy came round and helped her move out. Did she have a baby with her? So she had it then? Uh, yeah, she did. Uh, what did the guy look like? 40s, average build. 
What did she do? She was a prostitute, right off the streets. We were all glad to see the back of her. No finish your homework yet. I um, cross-referenced the names on the list with Stone. All of them acquaintances of his and all of them still living in the same area. I'll take care of that. I'm not here at your beck and call, Dennis. I didn't sit here all day by this desk so that you can swan off and go and find him on your own. Not computers, what do you think? I know. They just stopped me from becoming one of those dinosaurs I see everywhere else. You and you guys are all alike. You think you know everything? There's a message for you. A Joanne Drea called. When did she call? A couple of hours ago. Oh, Dennis. What? You haven't had a sighting on your suspects. The guy said they were driving a black BMW. See if you can get me a match on that car. Sure, no problem. It's a really crap idea, Rachel. Well, you heard what he said. It's worth a shot. If they think I'm one of them, then they might tell us something. You know, I don't want to be the purveyor of bad thoughts or anything, but has it crossed your mind that Joanne might be lying face down in a ditch somewhere? What do you think? It's too much. No, not at all. You look great. You, know, you just don't look trashy enough. Let's just do it before I change my mind. OK, two hours. I'll give you two hours. Anything happens to you, anything happens at all, you come straight back, OK? Careful.
You're on my patch. Oh, no, you don't understand. I'm looking for this woman. Not on my patch, you are. I'm gonna let you off that easily. Hi. Do you know who I am? And why the fuck don't I know you? What? I know all the girls walking the street. I've never seen you before. Look at me. <laughs> you see me, I wanna see you jump. I want something. You give it to me. You need to take a crap. You ask me first. Then we understand each other. Go to the toilet, please. Okay. Anything you say. It's a shit we all have to deal with. There's an exit at the back. Get going. I'm looking for someone. Don't you know when someone's trying to help you? Just have a look at the photograph. Her name's Joe Andrea. They have taken my baby. If I don't find this girl, I might never see him again. Joe. Yeah, I've seen her. She used to come in with Bets, but that was about a year ago. Do you know where she is? I know where she was, but I'm not sure you want the address. Thank you. You said she had the baby? Yeah. Ask her about Cranbourne. Who's Cranbourne? Wait a minute, who's Cranbourne? Neither of you know Joanne Dreher. Thank you. You all right? Yeah. 
What's your feeling? Rachel, this is Daniel. What do you want? You had a baby? <laughs> had a baby. Had a baby. Where is he? Joanne, where is he? Where's the baby? My baby. Yeah, your baby. Where is it? Money. Somebody gave you money. Took my baby. Someone gave you money and took your baby away. Took him away. Who? Was it Betts? Heard. What about Heard? Joanne. Joanne. Was it Cranbourne? Listen to me. Joanne, did Cranbourne take the baby? Listen to me, Joanne! Rachel? Joanne! Rachel, forget it. You're never going to wake up. Come on. There's about 20 Cranbournes listed. Well, that's just in this area. Right. Tomorrow we'll make a list and we'll ring them one by one. And ask them what? Don't you two have a fucking sleep? I'm sorry, mate. Well, did you find your girl? Yeah, she just wasn't any help. Sorry to hear that. Well, we've got a name. Cranbourne. It's just there's quite a lot of them. Maybe it's not a person. Maybe it's a place. A place? Yeah. I, like, took some bird in his clinic. That was called a Cranbourne. What sort of clinic? You know, abortions and that. A private place. Huge fucking gap out Surrey way. Got you, Shh. I'm trying to get him to sleep. Sorry. Isn't he just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Just like his mother. Just can't believe he's ours. After everything the agency said, I thought. Shh. You don't have to worry about any of that now.
after this. What? We need to talk. Later. No, now. Who's Joe Andrea? You know Joe Andrea, the woman you went to see last night. The one who ended up dead. She was a snitch. Is that right? I've just been to see the administrator of the Cornwallis Hospital. He says she's just had a baby. So? He said she left with it, nothing unusual. Is there a point to this? She's had a baby, Dennis, so where is it? How the hell would I know? They couldn't find any baby, not a trace of one. So? So where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. She's your snitch, Dennis. Are you trying to tell me you know nothing about it? That's right. If you're finished, I've got work to do. Two babies in two days. What are you talking about? When I stopped Rachel Stewart by the lips... You mean when you got your nose bashed in? She told me that someone had taken her baby. Why do you suppose she never reported it? She was lying. Mothers have a tendency to do that. Two babies in two days. That's some coincidence. They're driving around in a car belonging to an ex-con name of Jimmy Tibbs. You coming? I'll drive. Burnt your toast then, Jimmy. Who are you? Relax. We're the police. What do you want? Where's your car, Jimmy? I know, it's outside, isn't it? I don't think so. I think it's been driven around by Daniel Stone and Rachel Stewart. You are aware they're a wanted couple. A real life Bonnie and Clyde. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. You were banged up with Daniel Stone for two years. What do you want? Come here. I said... Come here! Bet, what are you doing? Shut the fuck up! Come here! You're not doing this! Jimmy. If I could do that to a fellow officer, I think what I could do to you. I don't know anything! Hey, what's going on in there?
anyone out. No way. No way. What are you doing here? I told you never to come here. What did you say to her? Nothing. Look, I had to speak to you. And I couldn't wait. What is it? I'm going to give myself up. Excuse me. I'm telling you because you have the most to lose. Don't do anything stupid, Mitchell. Everything's taken care of. <sighs> taken care of? Dennis, you're not taking care of anything. It's over. I've told you. I'm dealing with it. <sighs> Nothing's over. It's over. When police start turning up all over London, it's over. Jesus, Dennis. We are trying to help people. We were trying to help you. I'm sorry about Sarah. Who are you talking about? I'm sorry about Sarah's baby. I'm sorry about Joanne. Shut the fuck up. I can only imagine what losing two babies is like. But I can't be a party to murder anymore. You imagine what I've been through. You haven't got the first fucking idea what I've been through every day having to look at her in that wheelchair. Well, it's her turn now, do you hear me? It's our baby. And I'll kill anyone who tries to take him away from me. Selling the babies. There's hundreds of them going back years. This one's 
Joanne's. The one in Herod's office said the baby was absolutely fine. According to this one, it died. That's why they switched them. That's why they took Charlie. I was afraid you'd find out. Robert? Well, this should never have happened to you. What are you talking about? What's this to do with you? Oh, my... My dear Rachel, I'm so sorry. Em, do you mind telling me what's going on? Look, I do. I'd like to explain it all to you. Do you know where Charlie is? Oh, Betts has him. Betts? Yeah, the baby was for Betts. I tried to stop him, but I was too late. You knew? Oh, Rachel, don't. When you came to see me, you already knew. Look, I don't... God, I, I don't expect you to understand. Just get him back. I can't. Pick up the phone, call Betts. No. No, he won't let him go. He'll do everything, everything in his power to keep him. Well, why don't you phone the police? <laughs> it's well if it was that simple. Well, what, not enough money in it? Oh, no, this isn't about money. Don't you realise there are hundreds of families out there, all of them ignorant of all this? If I'd gone to the police, they would have looked at every one of them. I couldn't let that happen. Oh, those families are complete. I, I can't destroy them now. Charlie is my baby. He is my baby, Robert. Rachel, 25 years ago, I was playing golf with an old friend. I knew him from school. We enlisted together in the army. We were halfway around this course when I, I suddenly realised he was crying. You see, he'd been to the hospital and they told him that he and his wife would never have children. Well, I was his friend, I was a doctor, there had to be something I could do. I, I went back to my office and who do you suppose was the first patient through the door? A young girl, 14, 15 years of age. She was pregnant, but she didn't want it. I wish there was no one special, the kind of patient I see every day of the week, but somehow that day, it all just fit. The answer was standing in front of me. And for the first time, it made sense. I don't believe you. You were the first. They would have told me. You were never meant to know. That was the deal for Alan's little miracle. You were that daughter, Rachel. No parents could ever look on a child with more love and pride than they did. That's all very interesting. But I'll take over from here. No, you've taken enough. The killing stops here. Put the gun down. You'll never use that. Put the gun down.
Rachel. Hi. Dear Sluba, I've taken over the case. Have you got my baby? Of course, he's inside. Would you like to come with me? Are you coming? You sure? Daniel? This is Charlie. to be. 